Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your reading for February 14th. Happy Valentine's Day. We're just going to see whatever comes up for today. It's just another day. It is. It's just another, another day. I mean, we get this Prince of Cups reversed. It's like, <laughs> I hate to be a Debbie Downer, but, you know, this is this is the Knight of Cups reversed. I mean, somebody could be coming to sweep you off your feet. Maybe, you know, it is Valentine's Day after all. They're going to charm you. we got a charming individual here who knows how to charm. But... <laughs> There may not be any follow-through. Sorry to start a reading out like this, but... It is what it is, right? I mean, who wants to be alone on Valentine's Day? Strong people do. <laughs> Only the strongest can handle it, right? Anyhow, um... Yeah, this looks to me like there is some somebody that could be coming in to sweep you off your feet, but they don't have any follow through. And maybe you're okay with that. Maybe you are okay with that. I mean, you know, maybe maybe this somebody's going to buy you flowers or something and it's just uh I don't know. Hmm. It's fake. Perhaps it's fake. You know, whatever it is, perhaps somebody is coming to sweep you out. Nobody wants to hear that, right? Come on now, Jennifer. I don't want to hear that. Do you, can somebody you know, change the meaning of that card? I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that can. We can all put those blinders on whenever we want. Anyhow, this is the completion of a relationship. It really is. It's the end Tens are completion. A lot of readers forget to mention that. Maybe it's the end of a deceptive situation. Somebody has made a decision that I'm no longer going to emotionally invest myself in this. I'm shutting down emotionally. I'm not going to do that. I'm not. I'm, somebody is making a decision to... Perhaps let go of a relationship that is deceptive. I'm sorry, but that is what this is. In search for something more. In search for happiness. In search for, you know, the real thing. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah, somebody is letting it go. Somebody is saying no. Somebody is letting go and saying no. This is a lost opportunity. I mean, it is. It's a lost opportunity. It's 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 too late. So I feel like somebody is making the decision with the Seven of Cups reversed to drop something, to let it go, to not accept. I don't want this. And I'm sorry to give this kind of reading on Valentine's Day, but there's no fluff in reality. Really. Somebody is walking away from something that is emotionally disappointing in search for this, in search for happiness. It's like they know, they have been intuitively guided that it's time to walk away. From this false romance. It's fake. It's fake. 
There's no follow through. I'm walking away in search for this, in search for happiness, in search for bliss, in search for emotional fulfillment. I know that emotional fulfillment is out there, but the only way I'm going to get it is to turn my back on this emotionally unfulfilling situation that is fake. This is fake love. It is. And you can try to pretend and change it around all you want, but then that's you being fake, whoever that's for. Somebody knows they are being divinely guided, intuitively guided. They know, they know that wherever they're, they're at, there's no truth in it. There's no integrity in it. There's no follow through. Whoever they're dealing with, there's, there, it's not practical. And they're deceiving themselves. So somebody is deceiving themselves. There's deception here. And it's like somebody is too weak. To let it go. I'm sorry. I am. But I do see that somebody is making a decision to let it go. Maybe it's 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 stolen their power long enough. Somebody has been in a one-sided situation where there is no reciprocation and they're coming to the realization perhaps that they're not getting flowers. Whatever that means, I don't know. That whoever this person is that they have uh, held on to is fake. They're not coming with an apology. They're not coming with a gift. They're not coming with anything. They're not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Somebody is making a decision to end a relationship that isn't... It's not stable, it's not solid, it's not secure, it's not logical, it's not practical, it's one-sided, it's unbalanced, there's nothing coming in, somebody's cheating themselves, they're deceiving themselves, they're lying to themselves, they know it's time to go, they've been told that it's time to go, but they also think that this is the only one that they're going to ever love, it's time to walk away, it's a goddamn lie. Sorry. Now I don't know what to say. <laughs> oh God, I don't know what to say. Somebody is seeing the situation clearly about a relationship that has ended. And that is what we have here. The truth is, it was all a lie. It was a lie. And now somebody needs to find the strength and the confidence and the self-worth and the self-esteem to make the decision to let it go. So I feel like today is a day, you know, when it's Valentine's Day, at least for in the U.S., and you spend that day alone, it's, 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 kind of, it's very social, right? It's very, um, you know, it's an, it's an awakening. It is an awakening. It's a wake-up call. And somebody is. Somebody is getting a wake-up call that, you know, whoever they've been waiting for has no integrity. They're not coming with anything. And it's time to wake up. 
so I don't know who this is for, but somebody is, is deciding to leave it behind. They're moving on. I'm moving on. I'm moving on from this emotionally unfulfilling situation. In search for happiness. Yep. There's no starting over here. There isn't. Somebody has been foolishly hanging on to something that has already ended by the looks of things. Because they don't know their worth. Settling for less. <laughs> Not realizing that they truly do have another opportunity. Some people do. Some people are starting to focus on the new... But it looks to me like we have somebody here that is probably going to get some sort of rude awakening. Whether they get the flowers or not. That something is not right. It's emotionally unfulfilling. And they've been foolish to hang on to a relationship that doesn't empower them. That doesn't see their worth. Doesn't respect them. Somebody's dealing with a person that doesn't have any follow through and it's caused a lot of discontent and boredom. And it's like this person is missing another opportunity because they're still so focused on the one that hurt them. Yeah. There's secrets. There's lies. There's deception. All is not as it seems. There's something hidden here, right? All is not as it seems. Be careful. Be careful. You could re you could get something from somebody and there's deception behind it. Yeah, it looks to me like somebody may come forward with some sort of communication that's not truthful. It's not honest. There's some sadness here. Maybe there's some sadness and some grieving over the secrets and the lies that somebody has held on to. I think we have somebody here that is starting to realize the truth that they have denied. They've denied this truth for so long about a relationship that has already ended. And it hurts. It hurts. When you, when you are no longer in fantasy land, somebody's been in fantasy land, it's now like the, there's no more fantasy land left, it's reality. The reality is there's nothing solid, stable, and secure in a person that threw you away. Whoever that's for, I don't know. This is an opportunity that has ta been tossed away or it is being tossed away. Somebody is letting go 
of an opportunity, whether they've already done it or they're doing it now, because there's too many lies. There's too much deception. It's just, it was just an illusion. It's like now they see, and it hurts. It does hurt. It does hurt. I mean, we have a coward here, so, you know, who knows? Mmm! Mm. Somebody is emotionally closed off. They don't have good intentions. They may not even communicate at all because they don't see another person's worth. They don't want a relationship, whatever. And we, I see that we have somebody else here that is holding on to a fantasy. When they have another opportunity waiting for them to get unstuck, to walk away. It's like the universe is saying, just turn your back on this. Just walk away from this fool. This person has turned your life upside down for long enough. They've stolen your self-esteem. They've stolen your self-worth. They've stolen your happiness. Somebody has been um, keeping themselves restricted from letting anybody else into their lives and it's caused a whole lot of heartache. Somebody has chose a, you know, mundane, safe life, you know, trying to protect themselves from getting hurt again, holding on to a player. When this player doesn't even... have the courage or the nobility to act with integrity or to doesn't even have the desire to give them anything so it looks to me like we have somebody here that is finally seeing that this relationship is over. That they were being foolish to pretend that this person was ever going to see what they were worth. Now you gotta remember these daily vibes are for whoever needs them the most. It is February 14th, which is Valentine's in the US. For those of you that are falling in love, then this reading isn't for you because you don't need it. That's why this reading has come out for today. Because we have a lot of people here that are suffering. And that's what, it, that's what this is. Suffering. Suffering and silence. They've been deceived by a player who doesn't know how to love, but knows how to charm with the best of them. This charming individual is emotionally unavailable, period. And it's time for you to Stop restricting yourself. Stop being stuck and go down that new path. Because you got somebody else that's better suited for you. That's what this is. It's your choice. This is a card of consequences and choice. You have options. You have somebody that's better suited for you. That's what this is. 
Love heals. It's like the universe is like, here you go. You got somebody else. This is Cupid. That is Cupid. This is Cupid that is bringing two people together. If you could see it, accept it, be open to it. This is an unexpected choice in love with somebody new. But you can choose, because this is a card of consequences, to hold on to this past person who doesn't have anything to offer you, really nothing solid. Bunch of fake words. If that, if anything, they may not communicate at all, this person from the past, whoever it is. But you have somebody else. That's what this is. This is a choice between two. You You can choose to stay in this deceptive lie or you can be blessed with a new love all you gotta do is choose wisely you have somebody else that is better suited for you this is a wake up call So, you know, I feel like today is a day of making a choice in regards to staying stuck or allowing new love into your life and choosing another option. You have a choice. Somebody could unexpectedly bring you flowers, somebody new. And now you have to choose. Are you ready? Are you ready? Can you let this person love you? Can you let this person in? May not be flowers. I just flew out of my mouth. I don't know why. This could be somebody unexpectedly that the universe or God or angels puts in your path. That, you know, you have an opportunity to... start over with them but you gotta let go of this past baggage first there is definitely a choice here it's an unexpected choice in love and it is between two it is it could be between a water sign and well we have Gemini we have Leo we have Aries we have Taurus, we have Libra, we have anybody. It really doesn't matter what sign they are. It really doesn't. There's a really painful situation here in which somebody can allow this new love to help them heal. If they make the right choice, it's, this is a choice. Somebody is in the process of making a choice. Do I stay where I'm at or do I move forward? Do I accept the truth that this relation, these are endings, they are, they're completions. Do I accept the truth that this is over and accept new love? Or do I stay here in this lie? Okay, this is, somebody is hanging on to some lie. Whatever it is. The truth, okay? The lie, 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 lie. I mean, yeah, we got somebody here that is living a fucking lie. Excuse my language. And, you know, you got to find the strength. You got to find the strength to master your emotions to go out there and love again. Because there's somebody that is better suited for you that will love you. It's a perfect match. But you have to make that decision to throw away the situation that isn't stable, that isn't solid, that isn't secure. You got to step out of fantasy land, acknowledge the pain, deal with the pain, and accept that you have somebody that's better suited for you. So I feel like today is a day of acceptance. It is a day of... Um, walking away from something that isn't solid and stable, you know, isn't emotionally fulfilling. And realizing that you're worth more than 
Whatever this is. A decision is being made to let something go. That's no joke. Because there's a better option and somebody is probably realizing that. Are you going to get flowers? You may. But you may not. But you do need to get prepared. Get prepared because something is arriving. Something is arriving. What you have been waiting for is arriving. But you gotta you gotta realize, look at look at look at all the ships. You have a cho you have choices, okay? You got choices. Choose wisely. My bet is one of those ships is going to sink. Choose wisely. So is today a day full of love? Well, you could get an unexpected something unexpected something unexpected could happen yes it could maybe it's somebody that you least expect maybe you maybe you get this this these maybe you get a gift or you get some communication from somebody that you don't expect and it leads to love that could certainly be the case with a lover's card it could this could be this is somebody that you never expected and and you get something from them that could be the case it absolutely could be so be prepared. Somebody is walking away from an emotionally unfulfilling situation because they're sick of being taken advantage of. There's no more emotional fulfillment here. That relationship is over. These are completions. Don't forget it. You know, they've deceived themselves long enough. They realize that they have a better opportunity. There's no confidence to hold on to this. It's been a complete lie. It's time to make the decision and let go of this situation even though it hurts. Somebody that you're holding on to is not emotionally... Uh, available in any way shape or form and you know you have a better option and that's what I got good luck